Hi, this video is a demonstration of Fortinet Web Application Firewall as a service in Google Cloud Platform. I'll walk you through subscribing to the service and display some basic configurations to get started. FortiWeb Cloud WAF service is easy to deploy and enables rapid application deployment in public cloud while addressing compliance standards and protecting mission-critical hosted applications against known and zero-day threats. Deployment is quite simple. All you have to do is find the FortiWeb WAF service in GCP Marketplace. Once located, click on Subscribe to FortiWeb Cloud WAF as a service to begin the subscription process. A window will appear for you to complete your subscription process by clicking on the subscribe option on the bottom right corner. With the subscription active, let's log into the FortiWeb Cloud account. And this is where you actually log in. So if you already have an account, click on login on the top right corner. Otherwise, register for a new account. I already have an account, so we'll log in and access the application. Now, let's add an application into the FortiWeb Cloud account by clicking on Add Application on the top right corner. Now, let's enter the information requested, application name and a domain name. And once that is completed, the next step is FortiWeb Cloud will validate the IP addresses associated with the domain name. And you can select the associated IP address or if that's not correct, you can click on the custom button to enter a specific IP address. We'll stick with the default and click on test origin server to validate that FortiWeb can connect to that. And you can see up on the top right, it comes back test successful. The next step provides an option to enable global CDN. By default, it is disabled, but you can enable it to select the desired data center. However, for this demonstration, we'll go with the default selection for now. Next configuration option is block mode. This mode allows FortiWeb to automatically block any policy violations triggered. In this initial configuration, the block option will remain disabled, so application access can be tested and false positive alerts are remedied before enabling block mode. The mode can easily be enabled in the future. Now let's click Save to move on to the next configuration step. The last step displays DNS configuration information, specifically the C name needed to update your DNS record with your provider. After the DNS records are updated, user traffic accessing your applications are directed to FortiWeb Cloud WAF as a service instead of your backend server. Jot down the C name to update your DNS records and click Close to complete the deployment. With the deployment complete, the application page is displayed. You'll notice the DNS status is displaying Update Pending. This will change to OK after the C name is updated with your DNS provider for your DNS record. Clicking on FortiWeb demo name displays the application dashboard. The dashboard shows all the threat analytics data processed by FortiWeb. Since this is a new deployment, there's not a lot of threat data available. FortiWeb Cloud starts with default security policies enabled and it automatically detects known attacks and HTTP protocol violations. As you can see on the screen, they're showing you the threat level, uh, threat level history, what's you know been blocked, also incoming requests that are blocked or allowed, and then throughput for HTTP and HTTPS. FortiWeb Cloud also offers advanced security policies. So let's walk through enabling some of those features by clicking on Add Modules to display all the options. Let's enable some features such as anomaly detection for machine learning to figure out zero-day threats, information leakage, file protection, man in the browser protection against Trojan horse, bot mitigation, biometric-based detection, threshold-based detection, and then bot deception as well. So those are some of the high, high advanced features that are available. The other features are API protection, 
and so forth, which I'm not going to enable today. We'll just scroll through and show you the available options. The last two options I want to enable is account takeover, which will block against a uh, user access and authenticating URL and also rewriting requests. So you can change the structure of the request from the client and then forwarding to the web application. So once completed, click OK to save and it saves successfully. So the options are available on the left hand side as you scroll down. So we'll look at the advanced features that were enabled. Anomaly detection is based on machine learning, baselining normal user activity. So if there's something suspicious going on, it'll tag that. And you can also configure a source IP address as well. Next is information leakage. Any of the PII information you want to identify or create exception rules as well. Next is file protection. And here you can select the different types of files, Trojan, antivirus, and so on. Let's look at bot mitigation. First one is biometric base, meaning mouse clicks, cursor movements, keyboard clicks, and so forth. There's also threshold uh, bots, so covering known bots, crawler, vulnerability scans, and then the deception as well. So bot deception inserts a link to see if the bots will click on it. During the setup, we left block mode disabled. And to enable it, it's in the upper right corner where it says block mode on or off and just toggle that switch to enable it. One final thing I want to show you is this deployment is also documented in the user guide. So if you go back to the marketplace under FortiWeb Cloud WAF, there's a user guide. Click on that. Expand subscribing to FortiWeb Cloud WAF service and a subscription page for GCP. And I'll walk through the same scenarios that I've walked through. Thank you for your time.